Welcome to part two of Epic History TV's guide to the first 44 presidents of the United States. We pick up with the 23rd president. Benjamin Harrison, the grandson of 9th President William Henry Harrison. His presidency saw federal peacetime spending pass $1 billion for the first time. He also passed laws to ensure fairer competition in business. Grover Cleveland. His second term was overshadowed by economic depression. The president offered little federal assistance and sent in troops to break a strike by the American Railway Union. William McKinley raised import tariffs to unprecedented heights to protect U.S. industry and waged war against Spain over Cuban independence. As a result, America gained the Philippines, Guam, and Puerto Rico. Shortly into his second term, he was assassinated by a Polish-American anarchist, Leo Czogosz. Theodore Roosevelt, at 42, the youngest ever president. As vigorous and energetic in office as he was in life, he broke up business monopolies, asserted U.S. power abroad, ensured completion of the Panama Canal, passed laws to protect national forests and parks, and won a Nobel Peace Prize for brokering a truce between Russia and Japan. William Howard Taft, a distinguished judge, but not a natural politician. He achieved many reforms, but alienated progressive Republicans, including his former friend and ally, Theodore Roosevelt, who went off to form the Bull Moose Party. The Republican split handed the 1912 election to the Democrats. Taft later became Chief Justice of the United States. Woodrow Wilson, a former professor of political science and the first Southern president since the Civil War. He passed progressive reforms at home and after numerous German provocations, led America into World War I. His vision for a new world order with America playing a full part as a member of the new League of Nations was blocked by a Republican Senate. Warren G. Harding. He sought to roll back Wilson's wartime measures but following his sudden death from natural causes, revelations emerged of extramarital affairs and cabinet corruption that destroyed his reputation. Calvin Coolidge, the son of a village storekeeper, moral conservative, and man of famously few words. He also believed in minimal federal intervention and is still held up as a role model by fans of small government. Herbert Hoover, Raised a Quaker, he was a successful engineer, humanitarian, and Secretary of Commerce. But his presidency was overshadowed by the Great Depression. Attempts to revive the economy included spending on major public works, but too little effect. Franklin D. Roosevelt, fifth cousin of Theodore Roosevelt, diagnosed with polio, aged 39. His package of economic measures helped lift America out of the Great Depression, while also improving federal treatment of Native Americans. Winning an unprecedented four elections, he led America to the verge of victory in World War II, dying in office just three weeks before Germany's surrender. Harry S. Truman, seeking a swift end to the Pacific War, he authorized the dropping of two atomic bombs on Japan. At home, he passed progressive welfare and employment reform and prioritized civil rights. Abroad, he provided international leadership as the West entered a Cold War with the Soviet Union. Dwight D. Eisenhower, Supreme Allied Commander in Europe in World War II, he was approached by both parties to run for president. He was the first to be limited to two terms by a new constitutional amendment. He sought to contain the Soviet Union and de-escalate the Cold War, and oversaw a period of great American prosperity that included the construction of the U.S. interstate highway system. 
John F. Kennedy, the first Catholic president, and at 43, the youngest elected to office. He sought to instill America with renewed idealism, made some progress over civil rights in the South, and narrowly avoided nuclear war during the Cuban Missile Crisis. He was assassinated in Dallas, Texas by Lee Harvey Oswald. Lyndon B. Johnson He enacted a wide-ranging package of reforms to address racial injustice and poverty. But frustration at the speed of progress was reflected by race riots in America's cities. Overseas, he continued to escalate U.S. involvement in Vietnam. Richard Nixon withdrew U.S. troops from Vietnam and reduced tension with the Soviet Union and China. He became the first president to resign his office to avoid impeachment for his role in the Watergate scandal. Gerald Ford granted Nixon a presidential pardon, then struggled with inflation and economic recession at home while furthering detente with the Soviet Union. Jimmy Carter He struggled with an energy supply crisis, inflation, and unemployment. Raised a Baptist, he championed human rights abroad, brokered peace between Egypt and Israel, and negotiated a treaty giving control of the Panama Canal to Panama. But his popularity was greatly damaged by the Iran hostage crisis. Ronald Reagan Former Hollywood actor and, at 69, the oldest elected president. His tax cuts and free market reforms were credited with revitalizing the U.S. economy. He launched America's War on Drugs, began an arms race with the Soviet Union, which he described as the evil empire, and supported anti-communist insurgencies around the world. George Bush a decorated World War II Navy pilot, later director of the CIA. He oversaw America's response to the collapse of the Soviet Union and sent American troops to liberate Kuwait during the first Gulf War. Bill Clinton. His presidency saw a period of peace and prosperity, low unemployment, and falling crime. He became the second president to be impeached following the Monica Lewinsky scandal, but was found not guilty by the Senate. George W. Bush Son of George Bush, his presidency was shaped by the 9-11 terrorist attacks on New York and Washington. America's subsequent war on terror led the U.S. to become embroiled in long, costly operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Barack Obama the first African-American president, he passed an economic stimulus package to soften the impact of the 2008 financial crash and an Affordable Care Act to improve access to medical insurance. American forces continue to have a presence in Afghanistan and Iraq, where they helped to tackle the new threat of ISIS. Now, all 44 U.S. presidents according to their ranking in the Siena Research Institute survey of 2010. Andrew Johnson James Buchanan Warren G. Harding Franklin Pierce George W. Bush Millard Fillmore John Tyler Herbert Hoover William Henry Harrison Benjamin Harrison, Zachary Taylor, Jimmy Carter, Rutherford B. Hayes, Richard Nixon, Calvin Coolidge, Gerald Ford, James A. Garfield, Ulysses S. Grant, Chester Arthur, William Howard Taft, Martin Van Buren George Bush William McKinley Grover Cleveland John Quincy Adams 
Ronald Reagan, John Adams, Lyndon B. Johnson, Barack Obama, Andrew Jackson, Bill Clinton, James K. Polk, John F. Kennedy, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Harry S. Truman, Woodrow Wilson, James Monroe, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Bridgman Images are the leading supplier of art, culture, and historic images and footage, representing many of the world's finest museums, collections, and artists. Their experts are ready to help with research and copyright for projects ranging from TV and film to publishing and advertising. For more information, please visit bridgmanimages.com. Epic History TV relies on the support of its fans to keep making history videos. Please visit our Patreon page to find out how you can help and even get to vote on future topics.